Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode, I'm going to be redoing the Water Wheels instance that I did in the last season in Moria, this time for the Epic Quest. So let's go ahead and do the solo version. Bossy thinks another relic may lie within Nala Doom. My Uncle Bozy sent word while you were out. He thinks he knows of another of Gorothal's relics, where another one of Gorothal's relics may be found, and the location is just as dangerous as Lumonar, if not more so. The Water Wheels of Nala Doom. Travel to the Chamber of the Crossroads with your allies and speak to my uncle to learn more about Nala Doom. And what is all this about? This is to replay the instance. So let me muster in the 21st hall and then I'll take a swift travel over to the Chamber of the Crossroads and we'll go from there. May Durin return soon to his halls. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Water wheels once more. Greetings again to you, Kippen. I did not have the opportunity to properly thank you for helping to broker this alliance between the Iron Garrison and the Elves of Lothorian, so I thank you. In Mazog, we have a prisoner worthy of exchanging for those Gorothol brought to Dol Guldur, my son chief among them. Oh, Bori, be strong and courageous during your torment. Scouts report seeing a relic of unquestionable evil among the water wheels of Nala Doom, but we're unable to route the flow of the canals in such a way to reach it. You must determine the proper workings of the system if you are to find and destroy the relic of Gorothols. I shall have a scout lead the way to the entrance of Nala Doom in the waterworks. Delving into the flooded deeps will be dangerous, for the mechanisms are very old and have not been used in many years. The entrance to Nala Doom lies in the waterworks. I shall send a guide to lead you the way to the entrance. Are you ready to journey forth? Let's go. So there are going to be some alterations here. Of Moria, the dwarves had once crafted a great waterway to bring water in from the mountains. Something now blocks the Great Wheels from turning, causing the Iron Hill Garrison concern. So yeah, there is going to be some variations compared to the group version that I did in the Moria season. In fact, I don't know if you can even complete this by yourself in the regular version of the instance, because you need to pull switches and then have people go through and pull another switch and all that kind of stuff, so... We'll see how this all goes. Now, it's not terrible that I have to do these instances like three times to get all the quests. The reason is there are deeds here, like I need to kill a certain number of these lizards. And in the mirror halls from the previous episode, I need to kill a certain number of mirror veil in there. So it's not all bad. I have to do it anyways. Let me go ahead and turn the stone wheel here. That should route water so I can access that area from down under. Down here, I believe. That way. It looks like you can't even pick up the flowers here for the deed if you're doing the solo version of the instance. I'll have to find a way to open this. that'll be it really not many other levers I can work with here it's like a drawbridge opened up down there
right through here. Alright, let me see what's over this way. Got some armor on that thing. Freaking rock worm. Yeah, let me grab a few of these lizards. Now, what do I want to pull? The stone wheel or the lever or both? That is the question. You pull this lever here. That should extend the drawbridge down there. Right? No, that pulled it back down. Let me pull this again. See, now that's through, but I need to open this other half. Let me come through here and see what I can do. That did not open up. And maybe I can come up through here. Or is this where I came from? Is this where I came from? It probably is. Probably gonna withdraw that. Yeah, that doesn't help anybody. Or actually, let me try something. Let me do this. And see if it opens up any of those gates. Specifically over here. Doesn't look like it did much. Not much at all. I'll just redraw the bridge here and go look on the other side, see if I can figure it out. I've already pulled that lever. I've already pulled the stone wheel. Let me just go down here and see what I can find. Honestly, there might be more levers up ahead. See, I'm not going to be able to cross through here just yet. And there's nothing here. I need to pull that lever. I think that's the one that opens up this gate here. Hmm. Let me pull the stone wheel and see what happens. Gate did not open. Nothing down there changed. Let me come all the way back up and see what happens. I might have to go all the way to the start and turn that other wheel. 
after pulling the one that I just turned. Yeah, see, nothing happened there. So I'm gonna have to go turn that wheel, come all the way back here, go all the way up, probably turn that first stone wheel again. It's gonna be a mess. Probably fast forward a little bit. there turned and with the one up here unturned I think we'll be able to get something done at all? I don't think I went up there. This whole time I haven't been on this side. Maybe that's the problem, right? Or have I been here? I'm very much confusing myself now. No, I have. That's the thing that pulled that bridge down. Yeah, I've been there. No worries. Nothing really seems to be opening up for me though. We'll take a look down there. How much I can do. So I think maybe if I turn this one, now that the one upstairs is turned back to original position, something exciting may happen. Or maybe nothing, we'll see. That's still closed. That's still closed. Ah, oh, that's this is not good, guys. I am out of ideas. I'm out of ideas. It's on a timer. That's why you pull the lever and you gotta run really quick before this closes. Ah, silly, silly. down here really that broke my legs in the water fine I'm getting close to where I need to be though more rock worms over this way. More rock worms, of course. Can I go down or up? Let's go down. Why not? Should have probably gone up. Now this looks right. Mini boss here. Spit tail. All right. I would 
that guy. The lesser Karog here. See what's on the other side, real quick. It's not locked. I think you can only go down one of these. Once you kill the boss in one of them, the other location becomes closed permanently. If I remember correctly. But I'm pretty sure this is the end of the instance down this hole here. Yeah, let's go down. Down and down. Forcing me to break my legs on my way down. Alright. And there is the relic of Gorthul. The final boss. Wave of dread passes through you and the relic is destroyed. It is gone. We have come to my new home. Into my new home. I smash you into pebbles. Oh, he's about to send me flying, isn't he? Yeah, be careful not to get screwed over by these giant pistons. We don't want that, I promise. There you go. Why is it shutting down? Alright, fine. Completed the instance. I suppose it's gonna teleport me out. There it go. Should have just been a little more patient. Very well done, Kippen. The destruction of the relic should keep further evils from being drawn to the water wheels. Now we must look to the future. And reasonable reasonable gauntlets mine are still better though. I commanded the smiths at the heart of fire to craft new shackles for Mazog Roy told me about your capture of Mazog in Russian Durinal and it was clear to me that if Mazog was to be brought to Dogledur in exchange for my son's freedom we would need more powerful shackles to hold him you were able to subdue the orc king when he broke free once we cannot risk that necessity again Therefore, I commanded the smiths at the Heart of Fire to craft a new shackle for Mazog. We have little mithril as it is, but they should have been able to make very strong bands, indeed, by mixing small quantities of it with other metals. Speak to Stothkill at the Heart of Fire and see if these shackles are ready. Heart of Fire, Heart of Fire. Silver team loads. Alright. I think... Actually, there is a shortcut that I can take. Let me see if I have a swift travel to the waterworks. No, no. Maybe? I'm trying to think. There's a there's a door that leads some no, at least in a way to the spits. The mind. shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casadoo. We do need to go to the Silver Teen Loads. Let's do that. Trying to figure out the best way to get there. I always get confused between the swift travels here in Moria. It's not dwarves very intuitive. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. I think I can go to the Dovin View and then from there. Go to the silver teen loads. Or the deep descent. The time has least. come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Can't go directly by swift travel, but I'll take the next best thing.
Almost level 70. Looks like I need about 75,000 experience. Climb down Men and Bear Ridge here. Probably gonna have to jump. Yeah, let's do it. There's no getting around it. Oh, I probably went too far. No, that's okay. We did. Just some broken legs is all. And there we go. Twenty more seconds of that. Ridiculous. Really hate the broken legs, man. Alright, at the Heart of Fire, finally. They've been forging their shackles here, deep in the mountain. Better be some damn good shackles. Oh! Right at the edge, look at that, I'm floating. Thought there were gonna be some stairs there. Obviously not. These bands will secure Mazo for the journey into Mirkwood. Yes, Kippen, yes. We combine a small quantity of mithril with other metals to make these shackles. In fact, some of the weapons and armor you previously collected from my smiths were melted down and used in their making. These bands will secure Mazog for the journey into Berkwood. You will not break free of these, or I would be ashamed to call myself Stothkill of the Iron Garrison. Bring these to Broin for his approval. He is resting in the peaceful path, preparing for the journey. All right. So, I'm not going to make you guys go through that giant trek over there with me. I'll end the episode here, and I will meet you at the peaceful path in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.